One of the main goals of the VEP was reconstructing the size of the population in each of our two study areas and how that population size changed over time. Our analysis of the archaeological sites where people lived provided us with the answer to this question. Really exciting about the Village Ecodynamics Project is that we have a chance to uh, do that sort of reconstruction at the scale of an entire society, not just the scale of a sm uh, one small little area that might be encompassed by one particular project, but to summarize what's been learned by all of the projects that have been done across these very large areas. Uh, and so for the first time now, we're able to develop representations of what the settlement pattern of an entire society looked like over its, the entire history of its existence. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, uh, I just find it incredibly inspiring to be able to, uh, to boil down the entire history of a society to a series of maps where you can see what people were doing. Our population reconstruction of the northern study area shows that it was settled intensively for the first time between A.D. 600 and 725, when about 2,700 people moved into the study area. Population grew until about 880 when about 10,000 people lived in the study area, but then it declined for about a century and only about 3,700 people lived in the study area during the AD 900s. Beginning about AD 1000, population started to grow again and it peaked in the mid 1200s right before everybody leaves the area and that population peak was about 20,000 people. A reconstruction of population size in the southern study area paints a very different picture than the north. Population remained very low in the southern area until about A.D. 1100. Only about 2,000 people lived in the study area at that time. But population grew rapidly there at the exact same time that the northern study area was being depopulated, and the population peak in the south is almost the exact same size as the number of people that left the north just over 20,000 people. Population in the south declined before the Spanish moved into the southern study area. There were about 17,000 people living in the southern study area when the Spanish arrived, but then it declined dramatically, so that by 1780 there were only about 5,000 Pueblo people living in the southern study area.